Do you want to remove things from your photos but you can't find the right apps to do so? Then this video is for you. I'm going to show you four different apps that can remove objects really easily and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and which apps I would recommend to which type of person. If you want to learn more about creative photography and how to build a creative business, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video each Thursday. Welcome back to my channel and as I just mentioned today I'm gonna show you four different apps that can remove unwanted objects from your photos really easily and as much as I would have loved to show you only three apps the reality is that most apps that can remove objects are sadly not for free so I will have one free option and the other ones are like low budget and some more high quality apps which I'm gonna show you so I basically have an option for each one of you um, no matter if you just want to remove people from the background of your holiday pictures, if you're a creator or influencer and want to polish your images a little more, or if you want to take the photo game a little further and want to learn more about photo manipulation and photo editing, I have an app for each one of you. So the aspects I had an eye on this time is how much does the app cost, how easy and efficient can it remove unwanted objects, and what else does the app has to offer. So the first app I want to show you is called Touch Retouch and it is probably the best option if you only want to remove unwanted objects. So it costs $1.99 in the App Store, it's a one-time payment, no subscription and it is super easy and efficient. But it doesn't bring any extra functions in the app so it's basically only to remove unwanted objects. So I'm quickly gonna show you how the app looks like. So this is the first screen that you're gonna see and then you can select any image from your photo album and you can see down here you have an object removal, a quick repair, a line removal and a clone stamp. And basically that's all you need to remove really really efficiently any object from your image. So for example in this image I have a lot of like this um, dirt and wooden things in the water which I want to remove. For that I would for example use a quick repair. You have settings here so you for example here you can change the size of the quick brush and I would go in and just remove it. By the way this is like my pencil. I have like this rubber thingy at the end and this just makes it really much easier to edit on my iPhone and 10 of them cost like eight dollars at Amazon so they're really really cheap and basically I think everybody has them at home. Just to let you know I'm editing with this pencil but it's nothing like special. But you can see it's so good. It's really really efficient and it also realizes what structure like the object is on and imitates the structure on the place where the object was. So this app makes a really, really decent job. And if I want to remove bigger objects, like for example, if I want to remove myself out of the image, I can choose the object removal and I'm just quickly gonna paint um, inside myself. And then I say go and it's almost gone. I mean there's like shadow and a little bit of reflections and I can remove that really easily as well. But as you can see there are no other options. You can only remove objects, you can also remove lines. I don't have like really really clear lines in here but if you have a cable going straight through your image you can remove that with the line removal really really easily. I'm quickly gonna show you how to edit people out of your photo with another example. So for example um, in this image, it's a holiday photo of me and my boyfriend and you can see there are people down here and obviously I don't want to have them in my image. So I can either choose like object removal and go in and select the guy, they go and you can see it made kind of a decent job. Um, I would go in and go like make some adjustments with the quick um, brush and you can see I didn't get all of the feet there. I did it on purpose because it's too close to the knee of my boyfriend and it just would remove the knee a little bit more as well as the girl and um, she has like a white um, t-shirt and my boyfriend has a white t-shirt as well so if I would do it with the um, object removal I can show you really really quickly. It would just make it really random so that's why and there's an other option which is a clone stamp and I would for example remove her with the clone stamp. The clone stamp basically just um, gets areas and you can select which areas um, the clone stamp is choosing and you just paint in with these areas in 
the area you want to remove. So it doesn't actually smooth out the areas or does it by itself, you can be much more precise with the stamp tool. So for example here I would go higher with the hardness to make the edge a little harder. I would make the size a little smaller and then I would go in with the clone stamp and just paint at the edge of this um, t-shirt. As well as here to remove the feet of the guy I would just go in and if you paint a little in the area you don't want to remove that's no problem you can go in with the eraser and bring it back. The second app I want to show you is called Snapseed and it's the only free app I found for you to remove object. It is not as precise as Touch Retouch and it doesn't have as many options to remove stuff but it has a lot of different other functions to like adjust your image to make so many other things so I would highly recommend the app to you especially as it is for free and it is quite good for a free version. So basically this is how the app looks like and if you want to retouch an image you can go on the plus icon and select any image from your camera roll and you can see that there are a lot of different looks um, available in this app but we don't want to choose a look now and if we go on tools there are a lot of different tools you can choose from. For removing objects we just need the healing brush and if we go on the healing brush you can see there is like this brush and one minus point for like this app in my opinion is that you can't select the size of the brush you just have to zoom in the image and just make it smaller for small objects um, by zooming in and if you want to remove bigger objects like for example myself here you have to zoom a little out and just find the right size for the brush here but you can see that there has been something removed as the structure of the water is not perfectly in shape but I mean for a free option it's really really good. You can as I just mentioned go in and just try to um, change the size of the brush to maybe make it look a little bit more naturally but especially to remove annoying things like for example the stirred in the water it this app is just brilliant. Now let's quickly have a look what good of a job the app does to remove actual um, people out of the image so let's go into this holiday picture one more time and just try to remove um, the person with the healing brush and I mean yes you can see the problem we don't have a stamp tool in this app so actually what it does it takes the white of the shirt and copies it a little bit in the area I want to remove which is not what I want so I think for especially problems like this if there are people which are like really close to objects you don't want to have removed this app is not really a good choice and the touch retouch app is much better for that. So the third app I want to show you is Lightroom and Lightroom is free until a certain level but especially like for object removal like if you want to use the healing brush it's sadly not for free so it costs 550 per month if you want to have a monthly subscription or 55 euros per year if you want to have a yearly subscription. But I would recommend this app really really wholeheartedly to any content creator or influencer as this is the best app you can use. It can polish your images, you can have so many things in the app. This is an app a lot of like photographers, landscape photographers also use so you have so many options in here and you can also remove objects obviously. So let's have a quick look now in how Lightroom works. So this is how it looks like when you enter the app and if you want to edit any photo from your camera roll you can just go on this little plus icon say from camera roll and then you can choose the photo and you can see already that there are a lot of different options and that's what I mean by it's like the best app if you want to adjust your images a little bit as well if you want to add any filters if you want to adjust the light the colors etc so this is a really really powerful app for editing images and most of the options are for free but the healing brush which we are using now to remove objects is sadly not for free. So here's the healing brush. You can see that there are two different options. You can either use the stamp tool which you can use if there are objects you want to remove really close to other objects you don't want to have removed um, as I showed you before in the touch retouch app as well and the um, healing brush which is like the 
best if you just want to remove annoying things like the um, wood in the water here. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. You can adjust the size of the brush. You can adjust the feathering of the brush. You can adjust the opacity of the brush. I usually have 100% op opacity. I have around, I think, 80 or 90% feathering as I want it to be smoothly blending into the image. And if I now paint over like this wood in the water, you can already see the difference between this app and the two other ones I showed you before. As you can now actually choose which area it should take the pixels from and adjust it to the best area for the one you want to have covered. Also, as you can see here now, if I just miss a little bit of the area I want to cover, you can just move it around and you can see you can again choose the reference area really easily here now as well. If we want to remove bigger objects like myself now, as I did in the two apps before as well, I can really easily do it and I can adjust the size of my brush. So I'm just using a bigger brush now for removing myself out of the water. And you can see it did quite a decent job. I can again choose the reference area and I can say OK. And you can see the reflections are there again and I can remove them pretty easily when I'm just painting in with the healing brush one more time. Here again the shadows in the water and I think it looks pretty decent. You can't really see that there was an object there before if you do it a little bit more precisely than I did right now. Let's quickly have a look how good Lightroom works with removing people from your photos. So just quickly open the same image as before and then I'm going in and I'm removing the guy first of all with the healing brush. So I'm just painting over the guy with the healing brush. I'm not choosing his feet as they are too close to the knee of my boyfriend. And then I can just cho choose like an area which fits best to um, the area. I think this one is fine. So it looks quite natural. Then I can also try to remove the girl with the healing brush and choose an area. But you can see like the healing brush doesn't work really well here. So what I would do is I would rather choose like the stamp tool. So you can see you can really, really easily change the same area you already selected from the healing brush to the stamp tool. And so you can really easily change things and make it fit better to your image. And here I can choose an area which fits maybe better than the one I just chose. Maybe this one. And then I can also make this, get this a little closer to the arm of my boyfriend. And I think I would one more time paint over the um, area to make it look smoother. And of course, um, remove the feet of the guy. And I can just make it softer or harder with this one. So I could actually just remove it like that. So. so you can see it's kind of easy to remove people with Lightroom. And the fourth and final app I want to show you to remove objects is called PS Express. It is free until a certain level, but I think the free version doesn't really make sense as there are a lot of limitations. So you can try it for free for three days and after that it costs 38 euros per year. But especially if you want to get a little bit more into photo manipulation or editing images, this is like the perfect app for you as it is like the little Photoshop app for your phone and you can get and learn a little bit more about photo editing and try out different things within this app. And of course you can also remove objects. That's why we are going to look at this app now. So if we open the app you can see there are different options. So you can have a little tutorial over here but you can either edit, mix, collage, retouch or capture an image which is awesome. So you can either choose to edit an image here or to retouch your image. Um, there are different uh, tools which are available at each one of these two and you can remove objects with each one of these two. I'm going to choose retouch now. I'm going to choose the image I want to retouch. You can see this is mostly like for face retouching but um, it also works 
for um, removing objects. And you can see there's smooth skin, heal face makeup, blah, blah, blah. And we are basically only gonna use the healing brush now, but you can also use the patch tool, which is similar to the stamp tool, as you can say, don't blend and then just basically copies another area. So now let's use the spot heal tool to remove like this dirt in the water. And I'm just gonna make the brush a little smaller to fit um, the wood. And if I paint over it, you can see it just removes it really, really nicely and really naturally. So you can still see the structure of the water and it just is gone. And if I want to remove myself like I did in the last images, I can either use the spot heal tool or the patch tool. I'm just trying it with the spot heal tool first. I'm just making the size of my brush a little bigger and just painting over myself. So you can see it made a really decent job and I just um, gonna edit a little bit more removing the reflections I left in the um, border but I think it is really natural. You can't really see that there was an object there before. Now let's also quickly have a look how to remove people out of the image. So now let's say retouch one more time and choose the right image. So I'm choosing my image here now. The same one as before. And um, if I want to edit the people out of the image, I'm gonna use the spot heal tool first again, trying my best. You can see it sometimes doesn't really find the right spaces. And here again, it has trouble with the um, white t-shirt. To remove the girl, I would first of all also use the spot healing tool as it works much better in this app as the patch tool. Now you can see I removed most of the body of hers and then I'm gonna go in with the patch tool and say don't blend and just paint over the rest of her body and then choose an area that fits like for example this one and say okay. And then I would in my opinion, go into the spot healing tool one more time and just remove areas that are reappearing like this one. And also, of course, remove the feet of the guy like this. So let's look for an area that fits and just cover up the rest. So this is how it looks in the end. So that was it. These were the four apps with which you can remove objects really easily from your images. Um, just a quick review. The first one was Touch Retouch. Um, it only costs $1.99 and it is basically only for removing objects, but it's really effective. The second one was Snapseed. It is for free. It has a lot of different other functions and I would say like the healing brush is fine, but it doesn't work too good, but it does a quite decent job. The third Third one was Lightroom. It costs the most, but it also has a lot of other functions which could be really useful, especially for content creators and influencers. And the fourth one was PS Express, which is, I think, mostly interesting for people who want to learn a little bit more about photo editing, photo manipulation, and you can also quite effectively remove objects from your photo with that app. If you want to learn more about photo retouching and how to build a creative business, please subscribe to my channel. And and if you like this video, I would be super happy if you could hit the like button as it would really help me to get this video in front of more people. As always, thank you so much for watching guys and I see you next Thursday. Bye!